There's something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Uh, I just haven't been able to figure out how to put it into words. Uh, before I get into it at all, I just want to say that everything in this video is just my opinion uh, on all of this, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to think in the comments. Uh, so definitely just take everything I say with a grain of salt. I could be wrong about some things, I could be right, but I think we're all entitled to our own opinion on all of it. Uh, and also before we get into it, uh, definitely subscribe below. It's an easy click and you can always unsubscribe whenever you want to, so that would be greatly appreciated. So let's get into it. I'm here to talk about the YouTuber versus real rider battle. This is becoming just such an excruciating, annoying issue for me. Uh, it's not really affecting me personally, but I've definitely had like the, the backhanded compliments of like, oh, you're a vlogger and all this type of stuff. And I'm honestly just kind of getting sick of people getting treated differently for so doing things that they love to do. My first point on this is, I think it's a really good value for anyone to just not worry about what anyone else is doing. Really just concentrate on what you're doing and if what you're doing isn't working for you, then maybe you should just reevaluate and figure out what does work and maybe do that instead of, and not worry so much about changing what everyone else is doing. And what I mean by this is, there's a lot of negativity towards YouTubers, vloggers, because they're typically getting more opportunities in the in the action sports industry right now than your typical rider that you would see like making edits, doing contests, whatever it is. But I think I think that most people don't understand that these companies that sponsor these vloggers or YouTubers are really just interested in making money. I know that's hard to hear and nobody wants to hear it, but really these companies are just trying to make money. And vlogs really work for kids. They work for kids and that's why sponsors love vloggers. Because most action sports companies, let's say, let's just speak of BMX because that's the one I'm most familiar with. And really BMXs are catered to kids, especially scooters. You see a lot of scooter vloggers and stuff now too. And if those people are selling parts to kids, that's who they're gonna put on their team. I know it sucks. I know that's not what people want, but that's just the reality of it. The way that people can kind of work around this is either you have, you basically have two choices in action sports right now. You could either be a contest rider where you're making podium and you're getting paid money to travel which is extremely hard to do. Not saying it's impossible, but it's definitely really hard to do. Or you can start making content and making entertaining, entertaining videos or photos or whatever it is for your fans. It could be on Instagram, it could be on YouTube, it could be on Twitter, like I don't care what it is, but I think a lot of people aren't really wrapping their heads around that the world's changing very quickly. And social media is definitely the way to market everything these days. Companies see that, companies want it. I've worked in marketing myself. I've been riding mountain bikes and BMX since 2007 now. So I've seen it from the beginning and how it's changed and myself included. I'm trying to kind of work around it and change with how the industry is changing by doing videos like this, for example. I think my biggest point, and it's really just three words, is get over it. Like, people really just need to get over it. Things are changing, you need to change with it, or you're gonna be left behind. Like, don't get me wrong, I still have so much respect for all of the pro athletes out there that send so many crazy tricks. They, they pump out videos still. Like, I love watching actual edits from people and I want to see all of that still happening and I wanna see the same opportunities for those people, but I'm also just being realistic and understanding that that's just not the way that the world is going now. And I just want, I, I just wanted to shed some light on it. Maybe it'll help some writers kind of understand how, how businesses work a little bit more and understand that it's not all about just the writing. Uh, it's a lot about your personality. It's all, it's a lot about how you carry yourself in the industry. Um, a lot of riders tend to not understand that. A lot of young riders I've talked to, 
uh, always come up to me and they're like, well, I'm so much better than that guy. And it's like, yeah, but that guy has way more fans. They are way more likable. Like they're way more responsible. So sponsors tend to kind of flood towards those types of riders or athletes. So I, I think I think it's concentrating on your actual sport, but also concentrating on how you are as a person. And I think vlogs are really showing how people are in person and people are really relating with that. And they, they just love seeing what their favorite athletes are up to. Those are just my quick thoughts on all of this. Uh, I hope that you guys really took it all with a grain of salt. And again, I'd love to hear your opinions below in the comments. Uh, once again, if you, if you want to follow and watch more of my content, please subscribe below. Um, again, you can always unsubscribe whenever you want to. Uh, hit that like button if you like this video and uh, yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about that so I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later